This cold weather might not only be damaging to your home, it can really be dangerous for you and your body. Our Olivia Leach is spending some time with paramedics today as they responded to people suffering in the cold. If you've been out in this cold for even just a few minutes, it's not hard to understand how it can turn dangerous quickly. We rode along with a MedStar supervisor as he and MedStar crews responded to cold weather emergencies around Fort Worth. Very cold and uneasy. This is the reality for those battling the elements on the streets when the cold becomes too much to bear. How long were you outside? All morning. MedStar has responded to 37 cold related emergencies as of 4 p.m. Friday. It really does seem like as time goes by, these, these spells are lasting a little longer. And the population is, is uh, getting affected more and more. We rode along with MedStar Field Supervisor George Church as he responded to calls all morning. Hey, my friend, how you feeling? This man was suffering from chest pains in the cold at a train station in Fort Worth. MedStar paramedics check the man's vitals and warm him with a blanket before bringing him to a hospital. If they have a hard time finding a, a warm uh, location, then yes, they uh, find themselves in trouble and, and do call for us. If they have any underlying medical condition, then they can, yeah, they can find themselves in pretty bad shape pretty quickly. MedStar paramedics and EMTs have been preparing for this weather for days, stocking up their ambulances with extra heat packs and blankets. Cold weather response have incre increased dramatically over the last uh, 24 hours. During cold weather emergencies like this, any call where the patient is found outside may be upgraded so they can get the patient out of the elements as soon as possible. First responders like George are a lifeline for those stuck in the cold with nowhere to go. Makes me wonder how they got into this situation in the first place and what, if anything, can we do as a, as a whole, um, as a community, uh, to help. Olivia Leach, CBS 11 News.